He was charged, convicted, and then acquitted in one of the most notorious murders in San Diego County history, the 1998 stabbing death of 12-year-old Stephanie Crow. As News 8's David Godfordson reports, Richard Tewitt was back in court today after being arrested on the streets and charged with a felony. Hey, Judge, I was on my way to the FBI office. <laughs> Even before his court hearing began Friday, 50-year-old Richard Tewitt was rambling incoherently in a holding cell at downtown court. Tewitt told the judge he was just asking for help when a sheriff deputy arrested him Wednesday outside Central Jail on Front Street. He's facing one felony count of being an ex-convict on jail property. Tewitt was involved in one of the most high-profile murder cases in San Diego County history. He was convicted in the 1998 stabbing death of Stephanie Crow inside her Escondido home. But his case was overturned on a technicality. He was retried on manslaughter charges and acquitted. News 8 cameras were rolling when he was released in 2013. Richard. Yes. How's it feel to be out? Feels good. Tewitt, who is also a registered sex offender, apparently is now homeless and living on the streets. Court records show he was charged twice last year with failing to register as a sex offender. His misdemeanor sex offense was from 1999, when he harassed two teenage girls on a bus one year after the murder of Stephanie Crow. Crow's brother and two of his friends were initially charged with Stephanie's murder, but those charges were dropped on the eve of their trial, when new DNA testing showed the victim's blood on the shirt Tewitt was wearing the night of the murder. Tewitt has previous felony convictions for escape, bribery, and burglary, which means he's not allowed to be on jail property, leading to his arrest outside the central jail this week. David Godfordson, News 8. Tewitt faces a maximum of six years in prison if convicted of the single felony count with one prior strike on his record. The judge set bail at $20,000.